The idea of bigger is better certainly applies to wind turbines. But, the enormous blades required for today's most potent offshore wind turbines can easily be transported over land, limiting their use. A Colorado-based energy startup believes it has the answer. A colossal plane purpose built to ferry the largest turbine blades imaginable. In an era where renewable energy is not just a choice but a necessity, the quest for more efficient and larger wind turbines is rising. With their colossal turbines boasting blades as long as a football field, offshore wind farms are a testament to this pursuit. Yet, these giants of renewable energy are bound to the seas, their vast potential untapped on land due to the sheer impracticality of transporting such massive structures through conventional means. Enter Radia, which has unveiled plans for the world's largest airplane. Dubbed the Windrunner. This behemoth aircraft promises to revolutionize the renewable energy sector by simplifying the transportation of colossal wind turbine blades. Windrunner. Redefining the limits of aircraft size. The Windrunner's colossal dimensions dwarf even the most iconic commercial aircraft. Measuring an astounding 356 feet long, with a height of 79 feet and a wingspan of 261 feet, it outstrips the Boeing 747-8's a length by 106 feet. To put things in perspective, the Windrunner is almost as long as an NFL football field. Its exceptional size translates to a vast carrying capacity of up to 80 tons, 12 times that of the Boeing 747. The Windrunner's gargantuan form will necessitate specialized infrastructure. 6,000-foot semi-prepared runways will be needed at sites where turbine blades are manufactured to accommodate its landings and takeoffs. Addressing the challenges of wind turbine transportation. The Windrunner's primary mission is transporting the gigantic blades of onshore wind turbines. These turbines can reach lengths between 150,300 feet and weigh upwards of 35 tons. These massive dimensions severely limit existing transportation methods. Offshore turbines rely on specialized marine vessels, hindering wider adoption of onshore wind farms. Today's largest wind turbines and the even larger ones of the future cannot be transported to prime onshore wind farms via ground infrastructure, states Radia on its website. This logistical hurdle served as the primary inspiration behind the Windrunner project. Mark Lundstrom, Radia's founder, and an MIT-trained rocket scientist, spent the last seven years working with a team of engineers to refine the Windrunner's design meticulously. Among the key priorities was ensuring the colossal craft's structural integrity during landing and takeoff, paving the way for supersized, sustainable power. Beyond solving existing transportation constraints, the Windrunner's ample capacity clears the path for developing even larger terrestrial turbines. These could be designed to harness the maximum potential of wind power, Lundstrom told the Wall Street Journal while discussing the project. Experts estimate these supersized turbines could increase the consistency of power generation by 20% and slash energy costs by up to 35%, a boon to an industry gaining increased prominence. In 2022, wind energy constituted 10% of the United States' large-scale electricity generation. Ambitions beyond renewable energy. Radia reveals that the Windrunner could hit the skies within four years. Mark Lundstrom believes that its primary purpose is to accelerate the growth of wind power. However, the aircraft's massive capacity could find valuable applications in other sectors, including the transport of heavy military equipment. The Windrunner project arrives as the offshore wind power industry faces financial setbacks. Land-based installations equipped with massive turbine blades could see a dramatic transformation. Windrunner's technology could allow blades to reach 300 feet higher than the current average, rivaling iconic American structures in height. The result? Land-based wind farms generate approximately double the power of current installations, making wind energy competitive in areas currently not viable.